The soft push function enables the robot to take out parts with the respective axes being pushed by the ejector. The push command is used to start the ejectors and let the respective axes be pushed. This is done with adjustable torque assistance, thus eliminating the resistance of the robot mechanicals. To program this function prior to programming, you should record the distance of the ejector stroke. Select Edit, select Text, and move the robot to the takeout position in the mold. At this point in the program, your vacuum should be turned on, ready to receive the parts from the ejector. Select the x-axis and select the push command. This page will appear. Tap the field or the intermediate position and move the x-axis to the end position of the ejector stroke. Select this current position drive the axes in the respective direction that the ejectors will push the robot, and input the field by selecting OK. The intermediate position is the position the robot will be moved to by the ejectors. At this point, when the intermediate position is achieved, the servo will take over the movement of the axes. If for some reason the ejectors don't reach its full stroke and the intermediate position is reached, the servo will continue to move the axes. Tap the field for the target position and move the x-axis to the final kickstroke position in the mold from which the vertical arm can be moved up and out of the mold. Select the set tab and move the robot in the axis direction required and input it with OK. The distance between the intermediate and target position must be at least 20 millimeters. Use the two button fields to select which output will activate the push command, the button on the right. By selecting this button, you can choose from the options, whether it's the ejectors or the cores or a peripheral output. The input side is the signal that will come back from the press when the ejectors are at its full stroke, indicating that the push function no longer needs to apply and the servo will take over the movement of the axes. Use the selection assistance to determine the amount of mechan uh, of assistance the servo will give to avoid any mechanical friction. This can be set between 0 and 120 percent. Ideally, this is set correctly when the robot is in the position in, in the mold to receive the part, the push function is activated, and the servo does not run the robot away from the part. The part is pushing the robot in the direction required without having to catch up to the axes. If needed to be adjusted, select the uh, field and input the value. The velocity properties use this selection, Vmax or uniform velocity, to decide whether the movement from the intermediate position to the target position will be carried out with either the maximum Vmax speed or the last measured ejector speed as a uniform velocity. Select Insert, and the push function will appear in the program with the intermediate position and the final target position showing and the assistance level. 
in the program, you need to turn off your permission for ejectors forward and to give the permissions for the ejectors to go back.